Hello everyone and welcome to the monthly stock earnings video for 2023 where I talk about what I've been up to in the month of September and how much money I've made from stock photography and stock videography. I'll, I'll start off the video by telling you what I've been up to during the month and I guess the first thing is a bit obvious and I've had these braces put on my teeth and that was because I was grinding my teeth while I was uh, sleeping at night and the orthodontist says the braces will stop me grinding on my teeth and breaking them off like I have been doing. So that's been a fun start to the month. I also finished editing and uploading a vlog video of my travels around Bruni Island on Tasmania when I was there at Christmas time. It's a vlog video part two and the first one I uploaded many months ago which showed me uh, exploring uh, parts of Bruni Island and just showing the beautiful natural uh, surrounds of the island. So if you haven't seen that one yet and you're curious about Bruni Island and Tasmania, I highly recommend you going and having a look at that video. I'll put the, uh, the link at the end of the video. You can just click on it when my, uh, this video is finished. I've also been uploading a lot more videos and photos this month because I have the extra creative time because I've finished writing my book and that's being uh, proofread at the moment. So I've got the time and energy to spend on creating videos, editing them and uploading them. And also going through some of my old archive and uploading my old videos to Adobe Stock that I haven't uploaded previously. And one of those videos is a top seller on all of the other agencies such as Shutterstock and Pond5. And it's the video of the gannet trapped in plastic. And it was very wobbly and I uploaded it to Adobe Stock uh, a year or two ago and they rejected it because it was not stabilized properly. So this time I just put warp stabilizer on it and uploaded it again and it's being evaluated so I'm hoping that that will be accepted because I think if it goes on to the Adobe portfolio it will do well for me like it has done everywhere else. I know in Shutterstock alone that video has made me over a thousand dollars so fingers crossed. I also uploaded some videos and photos that I made of uh, cannabis plants being grown on someone's balcony uh, in the city and I took some uh, kind of uh, panning shots of the plants and also some still photos and I think they will do rather well. I think Adobe has asked for that one to be used for training with its AI so I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform. That's about it for what I've been up to in September. So we'll get into the results of the stock agencies and we'll start off with Adobe Stock. For Adobe Stock, I have a portfolio of around 1200 images and 67 videos. I had 30 downloads for September and that includes one video. Some of the highlights were I uh, was given a bonus of 23 euros, sorry, $23.66 for Adobe to use one of my assets as uh, AI generating training uh, content. And that gave my uh, month with Adobe quite a boost. So what AI taketh, AI also giveth <laughs> in some instance. I also sold a video of a massive uh, male grey seal washed up on uh, the local beach during a storm uh, about three or four years ago and uh, that was a commercial video and it sold for $8.50. Flowers is still doing well for me on Adobe and I sold 12 flower photos mostly of the daffodils but some of uh, daisies uh, close up 
and uh, those flowers sold for seven dollars fifty and I sold 12 of them they're all commercial photos and I was happy to also sell an editorial photo of a snake bite kit uh, that I photographed in Tasmania when I was staying on Bruni Island and that uh, photo sold for 58 cents all up for Adobe, I made $51.73. Okay, now on to Pond5. I only made one video sale there for $12.33, and it was a commercial video sale of the Gannet Trapped in Plastic. On to Alamy now, and I also made a single sale there for $20. And that's uh, the gross amount. Alamy will take 60% out of that. And that was of a, a row of trees in a farmer's field. I think they're poplar trees and they act as a windbreak uh, for the crops and stuff that are grown there so they don't get damaged too much by the wind. And that was an editorial photo uh, sold in Asia. And it was licensed for book, print, and ebooks. Now on to Getty iStock. I think I've got about 1,500 photos and about 80 videos on that agency. And it has been increasingly disappointing over the last four months or so. And there were no real highlights, no videos were sold. Um, and I only made $7.50 for the entire month on iStock Getty. And I've been uploading regularly videos and photos to that, so I'm not sure what's going on with iStock. Maybe they need to do more advertising. Who knows? Maybe they're being out uh, competed in this increasingly shrinking market by Adobe Stock and Shutterstock. So we'll be keeping an eye on iStock Getty. Okay, if you guys find this video interesting or useful or uh, helpful in any way please give it a like and that will motivate me to upload more videos and spend more of my valuable time providing this uh, insight into my stock portfolio which uh, gives you an idea of what a small portfolio can do in the current uh, times. Okay now on to Shutterstock I have 2,400 images uploaded for that portfolio and 198 videos. And in September I made 37 downloads and that includes two videos. Okay, my biggest sale was for $11.83 and it was an editorial photo of the Nemo Museum on the harbour side in Amsterdam. And that photo has been doing rather well for me across the stock agencies. I remember selling it recently on Alamy as well and it made quite a good price too. Okay, another highlight uh, of a photo of the daffodils, a commercial photo for $4.69. And one that I don't sell very often was an editorial photo taken outside uh, a local train station in The Hague called Holland Spoor and it shows uh, a well-known building in the background called the Strike Iser or the iron, flat iron building and it shows a tram stopping outside the train station. That sold for $3.87. And I sold uh, one photo of the Gannet trapped in plastic, one video I should say, and also another video that I made a few years ago when I was just walking out of my house and I noticed on the wall of a neighbor's house was a uh, small bat. He was just on the side of the wall in broad daylight and looked a bit agitated. So I took a video of it and then quickly left it alone. That's a commercial video and that sold for $3.75. When I went back a hour later to check on the bat it had flown away. I also rang the local wildlife refuge and told them about it and they said just leave it alone. <laughs> so I did and it seems to have been fine. It flew back to its uh, day roost I think. In total for Shutterstock I made a very disappointing $37.89. It started out pretty strongly uh, in September and then the 
as the month went on, the sales got small and I was just getting these tiny little subscription sales, which was very disappointing. So how much have I made for the month of September with my stock photography and stock videography? Well, I made $132. And I guess how much time did I put into my portfolios this month? I uploaded about seven videos and about a dozen photos, maybe a few more photos. So I guess all in a couple of hours work. I'm hoping uh, that things pick up, but September, I have to say, was very disappointing, especially with Shutterstock and iStock Getty. What am I going to do looking forward? Well, I've got the option, I think, to buy a free version of the Adobe Firefly AI generative software. So I'm going to uh, buy that. Well, I get it as part of my package as a stock a contributor so it won't cost me anything per month I've been putting on off I've been putting off buying stuff and paying a monthly fee and waiting for something like this to come along so that will give me a chance to start experimenting with the AI uh, trend well it's not a trend it's a movement now and seeing where that takes me uh, obviously from what I've seen from other stock contributors, AI is paying off for them, so I'd be silly not to jump on the bandwagon and give it a try. And stay tuned as I give it a try and I'll keep you guys updated. How did you all do in the month of September? I look forward to hearing how you went in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I like.